Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. And now I'm going to be answering question number, this is question number five, part C, from this June 2022 Pure Mathematics P1 International A-Level paper. Parts A and, um, A and B have answered on separate videos, which can be found in the playlist, which you will find when you click the card on the top of the page. And also when you click on the link at the end of the video here, you'll find the playlist for this paper and you'll find parts B and C, um, sorry, A and B here in, in that part. So now we're going to do part C. I saved them separately because this is to do with a different, a slightly different topic. This is to do with inequalities and regions. Um, so that will be under the equations and inequalities section. Now here we're given a sketch of the curve C, which we found the equation for in part A. So this is the equation of the curve that we found in part A of the question. And then we've also given the lines L1, which we were told y equals 4 over 3x is this equation, and the line 2, which we found is y equals minus 5 over minus 5 over 4x minus 25 over 4. Okay, so that's the equation of this line. Uh, we're asked to define the region R shown shaded in figure 2 using inequalities. So we have to define that, that region here. So what we can say here, this region is... First of all, we can use this inequality. It's below, the, the, the shaded region is below this area here, below this equation here. The region R is below this curve. If it's below this curve, we can say that we've got 4 over 3 x squared minus 16 over 3 x plus 20 over 3 is less than, okay, um, we can say y is less than that, sorry. y is less than that so y is in in this shaded area is always less than okay the curve it's always below the curve so we put less than all right that's how we deal with it if, if it was a, sh a region above the curve shaded okay then we would put greater than y is greater than this so that's one of the inequalities and as it is a solid line i'll also put equals okay i'll also put equals all right um and for the line y equals 4 over 3x the region that we have here, the shaded region, is above this line. It's above this line. Okay, so you say y is greater than or equal to 4 over 3x. It's above this line. Okay, it's above this line. So y is greater than 4 over 3x. And we can also say that this shaded region is above this line as well, which is y is greater than minus 5 over 4x. You can say that's one inequality, that's the other, and y is greater than or equal to negative 5 over 4x minus 25 over 4. Okay, um, so those are three inequalities which define this region R. So the region R is where y is less than or equal to 4 over 3x squared minus 16 over 3x minus 20 over 3. So it's below this curve. And at the same time, it's above the line y is equal to 4x. So it's y is greater than or equal to 4 over 3x. So it's above this line. And at the same time, it's above the line here, which is where y is greater than or equal to minus 5 over 4x minus 25 over 4. Now, there's no other region uh, where that is... Um, oh, actually, yeah, I've read... Uh, yeah, sorry, one second. Let's move this over here. Okay, so there's no other region, okay, which we can um, say we have to include because this this region is above this line, but it's also above this curve, so that's not included in, in our definition here. And this region here is um, below the curve, but it's above. It's also um, below this line, so it's above the curve. At, it's a go above. It's below this curve. It's above this line, but it's below this line and we've said it should be above this line so this region also is not going to be affected with our um, answer here so this answer is comprehensive for this shaded region r these three inequalities all three of them together satisfy the region r okay it's defined by those three inequalities all together okay any other region for example here it's above this line and it's below the curve but it's not above this line so it won't be included. It has to satisfy all three of them. Has to satisfy 
that particular region. This is shaded region is the only region satisfied by all three of them. So there's the answer to this question part C. Um, again, it's pretty short this part, but this is to do with another topic, which is to do with inequalities and in regions. So I'm going to save this in a separate playlist, um, which you will find over here. Um, the playlist that you'll find the link for in the top of the page on the right here will be for this paper. So you want to find parts A and B, go to that link at the end of the paper. Um, and if you want to subscribe to my channel, click on the link over here. Thank you for watching and see you soon.